Hey YouTube, how you doing? And welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. I'm very excited about episode two that we're about to play. Let's see what comes next. What happened? What? Oh, she's still dead. I thought I was dreaming. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. I can't but not believe she's dead. Cooperate and answer the questions. You can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. I'm Gidoria. I'm pissed off. I need to find the killer. Don't answer. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. I doubt that. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your you cooperation. You don't know who did it. I don't think you do. Fuck off, smoke. Just take a breather. That's very helpful. Thank you. Just like you are. Right down, took a deep smoke. <laughs> this game, man. You okay? You look nuts. You missed the spot. Missed us. <laughs> yeah, you just smeared it across your face. You got a tissue or something? Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> please. Please. What the hell just happened? We have to go now. Uh, what did you do to her? What's going on? Why are you here? What did you do to her? What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. But why only on them though? Hurry up. And how did he get it to them? Shame, man. But still, Snow White is dead. I even thought Snow White did it. Jeez. This killer is really, really, really pissing me off. I kind of want to say it's this guy, but I don't know, man. <clears throat> Thanks for the ride. Thanks for the bailout. This doesn't change anything. Ignore him. Thanks for the bailout. Thanks for the ride. Thanks for the ride, I guess. Bailout. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We, uh, found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard he's not the strong suspect. I've got questions for him, not now, Crane. And he's already to the point of confession. He was involved, definitely. That much we can tell from his babbling just must have had some sort of accomplice. Yeah, 
good. I've got questions for him. Well, we all do. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Why am I starting to suspect this guy now? You know, I never get more homesick than one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of you things. You don't really care at all. This is not being. This is really happening. Dwelling on this shit isn't helping. Well, I apologize if my attempt at handling this has disturbed you, Bigby. But I thought we had some common ground. We have no common ground. Fine, just forget it. Fine. All right. It's been a shitty couple of days. I know you're trying. Thank you. You didn't notice that? I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. That was before I went into the I bar. Why, she was frustrated with you. She wanted she to change was... things. She told me to be careful. I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. As I came down, I met a maid who asked my trade. Sailor John said I. And away, you Santi, my dear and Is this Bluebeard? Oh, you New York girl. And you dance the polka. Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told it you is not Bluebeard, to touch right. him until we return. He doesn't look, I have a Bluebeard. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help. Because that I knife looks like the knife that killed him. What are you doing here? Yeah, help. It, uh, I'll take it from here. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let me tell really? the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy. Look at that blade, guys. Legal alcohol. Uh, Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, I, I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. Talk you never leave, you know something, let's have a chat first. We're gonna, alright, but we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. <laughs> I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look. I got questions, and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Why did you run? Why did your friends hide? Uh, why did you hurt Faith? Uh, alibi for Faith's murder. He was in the bar. After we went out the window, I didn't see where you ran off to. Got an alibi for the time Faith was murdered? Look, I got nothing to say, so just, just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do exactly? Don't forget what we Break him, about. just talk, play it by know? ear. We must do whatever it takes to find the killer. Yes, we'll see. I don't know what play by ear play things by ear. I don't know what play by ears means. 
like check with other people um talk show photo punch i don't want to punch him Show was when photo put the photo down. Show him the photo. You want to know what this is? Oh shit! No, 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 no! Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Now, you want to tell me where you went that night? I went to the trip trap. Ask anyone there. I didn't kill her. Sheriff. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke you. You took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. I don't want to punch him. He's being Use too nice traps. to him. It's a smart strategy. Pick up. Be patient. Let's give him a smoke. Offer cigarette this to Woodsman, really burn Woodsman. What's the point of this? to those girls to Snow White let me handle this shut the hell up tell me what you meant by snow wasn't supposed to be there you've got it all wrong I, I can't just leave it alone I don't want to talk about it just talk to me Woody where was snow supposed to be snow wasn't supposed to be where where was she supposed to be I didn't I didn't say snow, okay? I never said that. You got the wisdom she did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I I can't get into it. I don't want to hit them over the head though. Wait, can I walk? I can't. Shit. I don't want to punch him. Talk to. Strap. What? Well, pick up booze. Let's see what, the, what happens if we pick up the booze. You ever sober? Let me... Let me get a swig of that. Look at the guy at the back. Offer a drink, smash woodsman. Thanks. I don't believe this. Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The girl. Which girl? Beauty? Just Stop protecting the killer. What was go. supposed to happen? Please. What was supposed to happen? Where was this girl supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? The girl. It was... Faith, alright? Faith. Faith? This is about her? I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh, I don't know. Talk, now! No one's behind anything. This, 
I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off. Okay, smash him. Fuck it. Ow! Fucking Christ, I'm tied up here. Fuck. Who were you expecting? Bigby, really, this has gone far enough. Who was it? Tell me. Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is... Uh, Holly's sister. Holly? Lily and Holly? Tender? From the Trip Trap. Her sister's... Yeah, detective. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid. She did her thing. And that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Fucking bitch Faith didn't have any decency. So la fucking da congrats. Crack the case wide open, shithead. Sheriff, that is it, okay? I just... I have to put a stop to this. I warned you earlier and you haven't listened. And now it's just truly gone too far. The man has rights. His rights are all... You can't take the heat. This Rubier, is for snow. This now. is working. We're getting what I came here for, Crane. Information. You're not thinking of the bigger picture here. You never think out the ramifications for things. Beating information out of someone will simply never get the people aligned with us. I dare say this is the exact kind of infantile rashness that got Miss White killed. Fuck you, Crane. Don't blame me. Hit Crane. Fuck you. I only meant, you know. What's going on down here? I told you that means Faith is alive. I, I freaking said it. What an intro to episode 2, holy shit! Let's see what happens next. Gosh, I'm excited for this. What the hell was going on down there, Big B? Abusing a prisoner like I thought you were dead. I, it got out of hand. I thought uh, you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Yes. In my opinion, yes. I hope it was worth your time. Where's the photo? Show her the photo. Where the hell have you been? You really scared us. How are you not dead? Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here. I should have been easy. there. I'm glad you took care of it. That's not your job. To help us track down the killer, or at least to figure out who she nah, was. Nah, I'm glad you took care I'm of it. Glad you took care of things. Thanks. She doesn't trust. Damn it! Is she on the bad side or the good side? What is it? I'm glad you're alive. Are you okay? I should talk to DJ. I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad you're uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like. What is it? I just. I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. You need to be careful. I don't think it's about you. It's not your fault. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean... That's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? You should lie, lie, lie low. Uh, we keep working, I'll figure it out. Jeez, they oh, really don't give you time to think about the... What to say. What am I supposed to do? Lay low. That's not what I meant. I'm the sheriff. It's too dangerous. Big bad wolf to solve all my problems? I'm the sheriff, Snow. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for, then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. 
I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Damn. I'm sorry. That's deep. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Never said you were. I've been doing it for centuries. <laughs> TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself, I can handle it, what? Myself. You could have said that more like myself. It's one thing for her to say she can handle it. It's another thing for us to see her dead. I mean, hello. Okay. He's over there. I, I suspect her again. To talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I Toad is there. I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Um, cards again. Kelly, we need to talk to Toad. Let's rub it again. <laughs> Worth the try. <laughs> uh, well, I'm pretty sure we have to talk to Toad and TJ. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, finish. Cancel. What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff. What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? The woodsman may be a good-for-nothing drunk, but that don't mean you can just whack him around because you feel like it. Wow, well, one hit and, and this shit happens. Out of me, little boy. He saw everything. Okay, Mr. It's my job. Uh, Why were you spying? It's none of your business. Why were you spying? And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. I know who it is. I know who it this is. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. Bro, I'll slap you. Okay. Six ways to none. Start at the beginning. This won't take long. You okay? Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you aren't in trouble, we'll we talk about that later, okay. or what did you see? You're okay. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> Comfort him, take your time, hurry up. Take your time. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on. I thought... So the body? I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> Cause... Cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> so they sank her body. Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. <clears throat> Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you. It's magic, it's my job, please tell the truth. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, 
Part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. Okay, if you very specific. You're not in trouble, DJ. Leave him alone, to Toad. Quiet and out of sight, or bad things can happen. I told you. Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard Here someone? Go. Was someone yes. laughing? Exactly. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said... They said, stop laughing at me. Was someone laughing? See anyone <laughs> whose voice is? Do you know whose voice it was? Of course she doesn't. No. Why did I choose that one? Um, was someone laughing? Did you hear anyone laughing? No. Bigby, he's frightened. Hear anything? See? Hey! Did you see who it was? I don't know. I don't know. I should probably I'm stop asking. Sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home. That's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. You can't keep him here against his will, Bigby. You've got your information. We don't have to put up with this bullshit. Wow, okay. I want... Toad. What? Where's his glamour? Stop, I'm Pick sorry. Me. Sorry. Yeah, I'll bet. Oh, so you won't remember that. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> I should have asked where's his glamour. You want to go look at the body now? In a minute. In a minute. Mirror, mirror on ready? the ground. Show me something I haven't found. Okay, here we go. Sup, mirror. Hey, mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What was Toad watching? Did you know Snow was alive? You probably knew Snow was alive the whole time, didn't you? Possibly so, but the moment has passed. You didn't rhyme, and you never asked. But as you know, I'm quite prolific, if you want me to show you someone specific. Well, that's a little crap. I'll just ask again. Oh, snap. Show me twee, twee, Tweedle D. Show me Tweedle Dumb. Show me Lily. Mirror, mirror. Show me Lily. And yeah, I think this rhyming thing is silly. Some <laughs> things cannot be revealed. Once again, these lips are sealed. What the fuck, dude? Features. Okay, Mirror, can you see where the fuck is Tweedledee? That kind of looked like his apartment, like his. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. Waiting in the car. They're at his apartment! Mirror, mirror, show me Holly the Troll, or uh, I'll throw you down a hole. No need for threats. <laughs> so she's at the bar. Jeez, I cannot... I think there's so many players I still don't know. 
I'm gonna. Can I not do it again? That was it? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna look for something else here. Snow's perfume. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Let's check the book again. I don't know if I'm just looking at random stuff that's not uh, going to tie me to anything. But I want to learn as much as I can. Beauty and Beast. Always putting on a show for each other. <sighs> I will get to the bottom of this. Something must give here. Uh, Seems like not much has changed between me and Woody. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to find anything new. Um, that book of symbols is not going to help. So I guess let's just go and talk to her. So check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. I should have asked why Toad was spying, man. There's so many things I didn't freaking ask. Like, where was his glamour and shit? But I really thought if I said sorry, he would remember it. So, I mean, that was freaking wasteful. Can we just walk faster? Okay, what am I looking at? She dead. So now what? Okay, this is weird. It's just a body. This is weird. I've never seen her face before now this is weird yeah the glamour is so effective it's invasive but just do what you need to do okay was there not something at the bottom only these three okay the brooch or brooch that's weird i don't wear a brooch like that maybe it really belonged to her not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. That should be in the book, though. We should go back to the book in the mirror and ask about it. Looks just like Faith's dead. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Neckmark. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. So it's the commoner or crane or whatever. It's crane. Wait, haven't I just checked this? Because the... Uh, do you see that? Could be a bruise. Okay, so now we're done with that. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth too. Anything? Well, nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. What does this mean? Oh, okay. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Is this the body that sank? Track marks. 
She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. She was kinky. If is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything? It might be a cheap glamour, it might be failing, it might be designed not to. I don't know. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? I need to open her code. Mind if I open her code? Nothing. Uh, forget it. Snow, do you mind if I uh, open her code? Bigby, just let me do it. What is the difference if, if we do it versus she do it? Is it because of their body? You still okay? Let's keep going. It's not you. Still okay? You're still okay. I well, I certainly hope you're behaving. It doesn't matter what what would happen. Here, okay. Now that you're done punching people, what have you found out? Her glamour isn't perfect. She was a drug user. I'm not finished. I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. This bitch has another attack <laughs> as we speak. We should keep going. Okay. Is that a panty? Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Something on the perfume. Use this. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions something's in her pocket i've seen things like this before it's definitely magic the witches don't usually craft objects these days i don't think it's wise to fool around with that it's some kind of black market magic who knows what it could do we should have it looked at just to make sure Quiet, Crane, you worry too much let's don't find you out think? you may be right one way to find out What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Monkey? Uh, I can figure it out. Might want to stand back. Not sure yet. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, it's a horse. One. There you go. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. It's a strain of hair to clo cloak her. Uh, look at hair. Old photo. Let's see what the hair is. Is that? It's your hair. Okay, that makes sense. Someone 
must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? I think the body is now decaying or something. She's a troll? You gotta be kidding. That's the sister! That's Holly! Holy shit. Yes, she's a troll. Calm down. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That's Holly. <gasps> that wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls. Holly the bartender. Maybe she Holly knows. Like I think it's mess. Holly's sister. Lily. You it's Holly. It's Lily. With that tattoo, it's got to be Holly's sister, Lily. The woodsman told me about her. You're right. She was reported missing, but I, I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? Because it's everyone thinks you're dead. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't. It's too dangerous. It's up to snow. You'd be putting her. She'll remember that. If snow wants to come with me. I'm not gonna stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Also, now we can protect Snow. Basically, right? If she didn't come, what if she ended up like she didn't come with us with the bar and then she, uh, her head pitched up, even though it wasn't her head? This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally oh, is that do, Jack but who knows where the fuck they went to after. Hello, boys. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. You is got it, Jack. <laughs> you can relax. What are you talking about? I need to talk to Holly. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? <laughs> I'm confused. Is he a friend? Because, you know, we were just talking Not about Not too good. I just need All to talk to Holly. At the bar, here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. Okay. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. That true love? I don't know what to say. Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You Does... and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Because we're the big bad wolf, Maybe. bitch. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired as well. Jack, Holly, both of you. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister. So Jack out. A few talk. days now, and we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy. Ah, fuck. I should not have done that. I I'm choosing the wrong shit. No, I'm not gonna kick him. I'm glad I didn't Fuck see that. Up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grant, <laughs> you gotta learn some new lines. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Actually, okay, be direct with Holly. Be gentle with Holly. Be gentle. 
Let's be gentle. Don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Shame. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. It's not her fault. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been killed. Oh, she's gonna throw it at she him? Been... Or, okay. Give her some room. I have some questions. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I should have given her some room, actually. This way. I, I wish this had ended up better. She's gonna tell us to leave? Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. Wow. That's uncalled for. It's one thing to lose a family member, but it's something else to like say it should be someone else who's dead now. You don't you don't do that. I'm you way too serious in this. Personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still no, had we don't this. have time for this, isn't that evidence? The copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Anything bad I do in the game, it says they'll remember that. Anything good I do like that, a, a nice gesture, fucking nothing happens. Like, hello. I'm literally the big bad wolf. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. Why were you, she weren't you talking, you, you, who city. might know more? Why was Lily glamour? Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh God, I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. I don't remember Georgie in any fables. Pudding Holly, and pie, Georgie okay. fees, if pudding and pie. it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. The woodsman was seeing Lily. Did you know the woodsman was uh, seeing Lily regularly? What? He was? I'm only bringing it up on the off chance it could uh, jog your memory. Of all the fucking things. No, there's nothing more I can give you. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's. Her body's evidence. I'll check with Crane. You can have her body. We burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business. Promise, Holly, the body. Start making the necessary preparations. All right. Should I have kept it as evidence? I mean, I already checked everything out. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. 
Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. Hmm. Hold on, if people can glamour themselves to look like someone else, who's to say anyone I talk to looks like who they look like, you know? In this oh. case, you can't trust anyone. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome. I'm a friend of Georgie's. I'm looking for someone. Is I've got some questions for Georgie. Or both. I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? Hm. You're in luck. He's take here. the bait. Hey, she take the bait. Let's go. Let's see. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a... I have a way with people. Is he alone? I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Okay. Who's Georgie in Fables? I don't remember a Georgie. Like, I know Jack and the Beast talk and so on. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse taste of the Fable community. Did you know, Lily, you Your may be in danger. Skip the spiel. Your desires are our desires. Did you know, Lily? She worked here. <gasps> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Okay, I did not expect that. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> you look like you're trying to take a nice shit. place, nice guy. Uh, I'll take it from here. No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. Um. How many times do I have to say it? Okay. Did You're not ex the did not expect the nudity in this game like that. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right you there. Georgie, I've got a few questions. Leave her alone, it. asshole. We're not finished. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? You don't know me, dude. No, no. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf. Right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Very, very odd, but anyway. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. He kind of looks like the guy from Bricky Blunders who told you, do you, when, uh, when did you hear? When did you hear about it? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? It's sick, it's illegal, you're do behind all it. all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. 
This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. He just put on his own We're all just thing, meant to jump show him the camera box, box so show him teeth. Snow's photos, show him he Snow's hair. You know. Now look at him. Show him the camera box. Nothing to back it up. Well, what the fuck is this then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? What a asshole! Smash the machine! Smash the machine! We're not done yet. Turn that shit off. Turn it off. You gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's Who hired us? I shut right. this place down. That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh no! Come on, oh. quick time events, bitch. Yo! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Who's the guy at the back? Isn't that Jack? Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Vans. Vans? 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 Hey, Hans, is it? I need to ask some questions. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes. And take well, he looks worried, so. Story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Sure. See what I mean? There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Yeah, not anymore. Tell me about the book, Smash Boombox. Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. I promise you, if I hit the boombox, it will say he remembers it. Now that I'm not doing it, it doesn't show that. Hey, now. I want that book. Break cigarette machine. He will remember that. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Okay, break something. Fuck it. Don't even think about it. Fuck it! Jesus fuck! You see what I mean? I wanted to test it. Do not touch that. Hand it over no while you still can. That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, there's a trap door. Let's go. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. Lie again. I'll break everything. Lie again. Don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. No, I'm not going to hurt him. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. People are dead, smash sign. People are dead? Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'll destroy this place. I'm gonna warn, just warn him. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Finally. Finally. 
Lousy liars. Bloody come on, men. We would we would have like gone, but anyway. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows. 207 that. is a room number. That's 207. Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be there clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Okay, now, I've heard enough I've of you, quite dude. Enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Oh my God, look at that phone. How old is this? Okay. Uh, nothing there. Hello, business office. Nothing there. Well, clearly I can only go here. Isn't he gonna chase after me? Makeup and stuff. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact. Can I only choose like three things to look at before the guy comes back? Um. Okay, well, let's. Her stuff is busy. Shit. Uh, why can't I look at it again though? Examine cubby. Why does it not go away? Makeup case? Am I just gonna like stare at everything? everything it was Something thrown out. But there isn't even a lock. Uh, now it now it uh, uh, disappears. It open. So there's something someone wanted, probably hair or something. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment, Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Hmm, because she went there. I already looked at that. What else can I look at here? Excuse me. I heard you out there. Look at the scarf thingy. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Didn't have a reason I'm here now. I keep hearing that. Didn't have a reason. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Are the legs a glamour? Is what are you doing here? What do they call you now? Shit, I should have asked that. What do they call you now? But do you see the ribbon? The ribbon was literally on um, Faith's neck as well. Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa. I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Okay, let me ask. Mr. Smith, uh, Lily last night. Let's ask about Mr. Smith. I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. I don't give a damn. You disappoint me. People keep here. saying that. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? It's a spell. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. 
these lips. It's a spell. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Yes. She can show me. Not what I'm here for. What are you suggesting? Okay. Okay. Cut. What I need to do. I need 150. It's not good to be short. Pay her. I'm broke. Can I pay her? Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... It's a spell, so they can't talk. So she wants to take me to that room. That's what I'm thinking. Wait here for a second. Or she's gonna go get the guy. That's 204, not 207. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Very peculiar. Made them cry. Completed chapter four of episode two. Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> Officer? What do we find at 204? The Open Arms Hotel. Late evening. This guy doesn't sleep though. Damn. Okay. So I'm probably gonna look around for shit. See nothing. No one is there. Uh, ding, no one is there. Let's look at the log. I'm not going to waste them. If the rooms are Single, like M sweet, double hourly. They should cut their rates. Am I really going to like click on everything? Yeah. I don't know. So Why am I asking that. myself that? <laughs> okay. Just look at the posters. We're seeing cats. I should probably repair that. Uh, might as well ring the ding. Is that like going out? Let's ring it. Oh, someone for actually came. The hour or for the whole night. Oh, uh, beauty. it's beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. I'm so glad I did that so, now. So, now you know. I know I should have told you. You should tell Beast, I won't say anything, Beast I don't care. Would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You, you should tell should him. really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Did you know Faith ever... Uh, oh, this is the time limit for this? Did you know Faith ever see Lily with anyone? Have you seen Snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but... She didn't say anything when she saw me, 
even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Ever see Lily with anyone? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Last one? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me. So they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Imagine it's actually Bad Beast news. and Beauty. Let's we'll see. Beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Yep. Listen, Bigby. Complete the chapter I five of episode two. Some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? You I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would children. ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't She's gonna remember it. this. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, she won't remember it, so I can do it. Ha ha ha. Which one was it? <laughs> uh, room 207. People are getting busy up in here. 204. L l listen? What the are we gonna hear? <laughs> Oh, knock, open. Look at. What will it help us? Okay, open. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone... This is where Lily was. Like open it all smashed open, please. Trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. What are That's we about to see? This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. Oh I shit! Love not what you think, please. <laughs> You're cheating on me with him? No, no, Beast. I promise, I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. Shit is about to go down. You've got it wrong. I know what this place is. Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen to me. There's okay. Nothing going Let's on. go beast mode. Ah! Hey. Faster! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! I knew you were. I don't want to hurt around. you. Don't do this. Just talk to your wife. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and Beast! Before I go on with this, what a time to pause, I know. But if someone says listen to your wife, that doesn't mean they're gonna freaking cheat, you know? What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! I don't, I'm not gonna punch him. Okay. I didn't want to do that, hello? My whole screen is shaking. I don't believe in me. This is my fault. Please, no. I, understand. I praise W. Ah, oh, shit. 
I'm, I don't want to punch him! No! I don't want to hurt the guy! I'm not going to. I'm not going to hurt him. You ruined everything! Jeez. She's my fucking wife! Not gonna hit him. I would have kicked him in there. <sighs> Shit. What have you done? Bigby. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Shit, stay outside. Doors open out. Stay outside. Wait, is this me? I don't know. Shit. What is it? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this? Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? Not there's anything strange. Who, who rented this room? See anything? Anyone's suspicious? Who so rented this room? Yeah. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. Why would he say but? I'll explain later, okay? Well, I'm glad I didn't kick his teeth in. Bigby. What kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Okay, radio? I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay. Apple? Do you smell Snow something? Snow White's granny? Just Apple. Don't take a bite. A cigarette, so it's a smoker. Ashtray. We shouldn't even be in here. I don't know if I should hurry. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. A uh, bottle? Storybook. <sighs> Let's look at the storybook. Maybe oh, there's some stuff in there. Beauty. What is that? Oh, it's a beautiful. Book about Snow White, or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her. Yeah. Huh. What is it? He has a food fetish. He made Lily uh, bite the apple. He likes to see snow and pearl. I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. Would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course, that makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. You know, she almost died when. Uh. She bit the apple? Was she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. So the guy she was with, Mr. Smith, was acting out the part of the prince to save her. God. Let's look at the bottle and then the cassette. They brought wine. Classy. Not that classy. For my arrival. Stuff in the closet? Hold up. <sighs> Shit. Um, there was still something on the bed I wanted to check out. Looks like she was lying down when she was... No shit, Sherlock! Were already here. How do you know that? 
blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body? Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Well, she's a body now, but anyway. Okay. Let me go to the closet. What are you thinking? Reminds me of Snow's coffin. Uh, looks like a, a ritual sacrifice. Flowers mean a personal connection. Maybe. Does it? Our Mr. Smith seems to have a real thing for flowers. You don't just deck out of bed like this for no reason. He's invested in this on a personal level. So he's obsessed with Snow's story and in love with her too? And this poor girl just got in the way. She couldn't have known. Someone's coming, she someone's coming. The money. She could have oh, it's Beast. Anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, Can I, uh, exactly Georgie here, took advice, advantage, she was... made her own choices, we can't really know. Well, shit. I guess it doesn't matter now. Okay, let's go into the closet. I think someone's gonna she pop out. Must have been so scared. Or not. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? He likes it rough. She uh, looks like a snow costume. He could be a cross dresser. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily there. up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff too. I mean, he brings someone flowers before he kills them. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. An envelope. Why does it give me a choice to do that if like, obviously I'm gonna do it? I never opened the other one. It's a photo of Snow White. Pictures of the dead girl. That's a photo of the real, the real Snow White. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no, Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this. So place. someone wanted to kill. You'll keep trying to get closer and closer. Oh wait, what? And in for they look gone now. Someone's watching us from the mirror. What is it? This <gasps> crane. I knew it. But crane is not the killer, I think. But he is sick, though. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I am going to shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Okay, so that was the end. Let's see how it went. How did you respond to Crane uh, about Snow's death? You and 12.9% of players shut them out. Okay, so that's weird. So everyone did not shut them out? How did you treat the murder suspect? You and the forced him to talk. Well, obviously. 
Did you let Snow White come? Everyone let her come. I'm happy with that. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? Uh, okay. You and uh, players didn't hit Georgie. So a lot of, uh, so the minority hit him. What's wrong with you guys? Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and any of players never had Beast at your mercy. It's not his fault, man. If I saw my girlfriend go into, a, go into like a brothel or whatever with another guy, I would also be very like furious and want to... I wouldn't know if I would go at them. But anyway, stay tuned for the next one. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Yeah.